you doing today? My name is Dr. Quiet. Okay, great. It's very good to meet you. So, I'm looking here, and it looks like you are just here for a general eye exam. It looks like you might need a new prescription. Uh, is there anything about your just your general health that I might need to know about? Mm -hmm. Not, no diabetes or anything like that in your family, just general health. All right, great. And um, how about any problems with your eyes? Have you noticed any dryness, itchiness, uh, having any problems seeing at night? Okay. Okay, yeah. Right, probably not a big deal, but we'll check it out anyway. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, good, yeah. I'll just write that down here on your chart. Um, have you ever worn contact lenses before? Okay. Would you be interested in getting fitted for those? Okay, I'll, I'll put that down as a maybe, and we'll come back to it later. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Alright, so if there is nothing else that you need to tell me about your eyes, then I'm going to just go ahead and get started with this examination. on. All right, I am going to need you to cover up your right eye, and I want you to read that top line for me, starting with the first letter all the way to the last letter. Good. That's right. Good. Good, okay. So you're definitely able to see that top line. Now I want you to try that second line there on the top. Mm-hmm. All right, and the third line here. All right, wonderful. Now I need you to cover up your left eye and I want you to do the exact same thing. I need you to read letter for letter that top line. Good, the next one, perfect, and the next one. Great job. All right, now with both eyes open, please one more time, read all three top lines to me. Good. Mm-hmm. That's right. All right, now I need you to repeat that process. Cover up your right eye again, and I need you to try for me now to read the top line on the bottom segment. Good. All right, and now this one here. Good job. And can you read that last line? Okay, yeah, that one's a little bit harder. It's okay, it's to be expected. It's pretty tiny back there. All right, good. Okay, so I need you to now cover up your left eye, and we're going to do the same thing all over again. Top line on this bottom segment. The second line. And the third, still difficult. That's fine. It's okay. Yeah, we're going to get that new prescription ready for you. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to open both eyes and same thing. Okay. Yep. And that last line. Good. Okay, good. Yeah, with both eyes open, you got it exactly right. Mm hmm. Yeah, just perfect. 
go ahead and mark that uh, one eye seems to need a little more strength than the other. dim the lights for this one. I'll be right back. I'm going to be checking your pupil's reactions to the light. So I need you to just look straight ahead at the chart and do your best to keep your eyes open. Turn back on. It seems your pupillary reactions are doing just fine. make sure that your eyes are properly aligned. So I'm going to be holding the light by my face and I need you to just continue looking at this light while I cover up each eye. Just do your best not to be distracted by what I'm doing and just keep focused on the light. Perfect. Your eyes are aligned just fine. No drooping or anything like that. All right, I'm going to be checking your ocular motility. That's just a fancy word for making sure that your eyes can follow this light properly. So I need you to keep your head straight forward. Keep your head just aligned with mine. But I want you to follow the light with your eyes. So, ready? like mine and use your eyes to follow the light. You're doing great. Good job. And good. All right, your ocular. 
regular motility seems just fine. testing your peripheral vision. So for your peripheral vision test, you're going to have your right eye covered at first and I'm going to have my fingers. And whenever you see the fingers come into your field of vision, raise your hand. Okay, it's starting now. Good. Good. Alright, perfect. Now, same thing, but I need you to cover up your left eye. Alright. Good. 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 Okay, good again. And good. One more. Perfect. Thank you. You're doing just great. Nothing wrong with your peripheral vision. Now I'm going to figure out your actual prescription that your eyes need. I'm going to be using a ferropter. It's that big machine right there. And I'm just going to pull that right over your eyes. I'm going to get out of the way so that you can see the chart. And I'm just going to be putting a couple different lenses in front of your eyes back and forth. I'm going to start off with your right eye. I want you to tell me, is this better or worse than before? Okay. Now, is this better or worse? All right, one more. Better or worse? Do you want to see the other one again? Yes, that's fine. And the other one? Okay. Good. All right, now I'm going to be going between two different lenses, and I just want you to tell me, is lens one better or two? All right. Three or four? Three or four? Okay. Five or six? Lens five or six? All right, now I'm going to move back over to your other eye and we're just going to do the same process again. Now, better or worse? All right. Better or worse? One more. Better or worse? All right, now, is this one better? One or two? Lens one or lens two? Okay, good. Three or four? Three or four? Mm -hmm. Okay, five or six? Okay, good. All right, so now I'm going to bring the chart in a little bit closer for you. 
and I want you to, with one eye covered, let's start with your right eye, I want you to read that top line. All right, good. Let me just make some notes on here. And now I want you to read the smaller one all the way down, please. Very good. Now cover up that other eye. I need you to do the same thing again for me, that very top portion, all three lines. Very good. And the bottom portion. I'm sure you've got it memorized by now, but good job. All right, and I'm going to ask you to do it one more time. Both eyes uncovered. All right, very good. Now let me just, before I remove the phoropter, let me check these numbers here, write them down for your prescription. Okay, let me get the Ferropter out of the way for you. All right, thank you very much. And next we are going to test your eye pressure. Now in a lot of places they use a puff of air in your eye in order to test the pressure. I found that many patients seem to find that very uncomfortable. So we have decided to start using eye drops to test the pressure. So I'm going to drop some eye drops into your eye and over the next few minutes they're going to settle and I'll be able to check the pressure that way. Alright, I'm just going to grab those eye drops from the cabinet. Just need you to look up just a little bit. Okay, and one more eye. It's only uncomfortable for just a moment. Oh, not uncomfortable at all. Good. It's a, uh, they're very nice eye drops. They don't tend to be very irritating. Not near as irritating as that uh, puff on your eye can be. All right. Now go ahead and close your eyes for a couple seconds. Let those eye drops start to do their work. Now I'm going to be looking closely at your eyes from all directions. Now I'm going to be checking your eyes from all directions while those eye drops do their work. I'm going to be checking the ocular surfaces to, for any abnormalities, misformations. So just keep your eyes open and stare straight forward. I'm going to be getting very close to you and I'm just looking at your eyes from all directions so that I can see the surface. I am going to be getting into your personal space. the bottoms, the corners, the sclera, the eyelids, all around. And into the pupil. Okay, and now I'm going to go to the next eye. Make 
sure I don't miss anything. looks good and it also looks like the eye drops have worked and it is time to check your eye pressure we go ahead and write down that everything is fine with the ocular surface all right so now time to check your eye pressure and I'm just going to be holding your eye open as a more advanced light goes in there so that I can check the pressure. Alright. Same thing with this one. Just gonna hold that open and okay. All right. Yep, that's it. I like that much better than the puff of air. What do you think? Note your eye pressure here on your chart. Okay. All right. So, another process that we have modernized here is uh, we no longer use the eye drops to dilate your pupils to allow us to see inside of the eye better. In the past, we uh, used eye drops and the eye drops would cause the pupil to dilate over about 10 minutes or so. And then when we looked inside, we would have a much wider window, I suppose, to look at everything. However, this dilation would cause your vision to blur and would take quite a while to uh, go back to normal. So you would have blurry vision for a couple hours afterwards. And the new process, all we have to do is scan your eye. It's kind of like an x-ray, but, but just for your eye and it's completely safe. And it will take a picture of everything on the inside, which I can then just analyze the photo and it's very non-invasive and you won't be leaving with blurry vision. Mm -hmm. I think it's just amazing. I love this new technology we keep getting. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let me just get some quick dimensions of your face. Just really simple dimensions, just so I know how to position the scanner onto your face. And there's like three or four sizes. It's mostly a one size fits all kind of thing. All right, now this is similar to the tool I use to check your prescription. It will fit onto your face and you're going to sit your chin right on the bottom. I'm going to slide it over now and just sit your chin right there. Mm -hmm. And we are just going to scan your eye. I'm going to be looking right directly into your eye as I bring the scanning light over it. All right, good. Now the next one, and then we'll be all done. Very good. Quick and easy. It really is. Now that's going to print out in just a moment. But when I was looking at it, I did not see anything that would be abnormal or to worry about. Mm -hmm. All right, 
looks like the scan came through. Just add that in here to your chart on the clipboard. And there we go. Mm hmm. Yeah, everything looks absolutely fine. Yeah. Okay, yes, you see this area right here, that is right inside of your pupil, and you can see all the veins in there. It's very interesting. And yeah, everything looks fine in both eyes. Yeah, even if you need glasses, everything can still be perfectly healthy, generally speaking. Mm-hmm. like everything is just fine. I've got your new prescription here. I'm gonna just give you this prescription and if you'll take it to the front desk, they will get you sorted out from there, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. All right, good. Yes, and you need to make sure to make an appointment for next year. You do not want to go too long without getting an eye exam. You'll strain your eyes with an old prescription. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm so happy that everything went well, and I cannot wait to see you again next year. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.